What's up, motherfuckers? I mean, wait, no. Hi, how are ya? Yeah, hi, how are ya works a lot better. Or I could always go with the old, what's up, America? This episode of the Max No Sleeve Show is brought to you by... <sighs> Tap water. What's up, guys? My name is Max No Sleeves. Today, we're gonna be talking about what makes somebody dateable, or undateable, I guess. The other day, I was talking to someone about what makes someone attractive to me. And I didn't really have a good answer because... People, like a lot of different things make someone attractive to me. Like, for example, if I was gonna rattle off four things off the top of my head, butt cheek, boo, boo, butt cheek. Um, not in that order. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. But you know, I didn't really have a good answer, but the more I broke it down, the more I figured out that dateable to me means made of dates. These are pineapples. Who the fuck has a date? Because there's a difference between being noticeable and being dateable. Noticeable is like you, you interact with someone, you're like, oh, I, I see you there, I notice you, and now I can entertain the idea of actually uh, getting to know you and dating you. And when you decide to date someone, you decide if your, your personalities mesh right, like your genitals are meshing. Like, <sighs> you guys know what docking is? That's a throwback. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd break down three things to make you dateable, but by really dateable, I mean like noticeable. <laughs> Number one. Your closet door has to be closed. Number one is how you look. And, <laughs> and what I mean by that is not at all how you look. I mean how you like put yourself together and how you present yourself. You don't need to be super hot. Like I'm not saying you have to be blessed with perfect bone structure, but you could brush your teeth. You could brush your hair. You could put deodorant on so you don't s You could put deodorant on so you don't stink. No, because honestly it's, it's, it's how you put yourself together is sort of like how you look at yourself, how you view yourself. You don't have to dress up in a three-piece suit every goddamn day. Lord knows I wear a fucking sleeveless shirt all the time. But there's a difference between like wearing a clean t-shirt and wearing the same pajamas you've been wearing for the last three days because you just don't care. Because you've been lying in bed non-stop watching Netflix and masturbating intermittently while eating goldfish and making yourself tuna sandwiches. Hypothetically. Because at the end of the day, if you're not looking at yourself like you think you're hot and, and frankly desirable, then why should anyone else look at you that way? So think about it. Watch your face. Number two. Asian too. Are you like a genuine person? I can't even tell you how many times I've been talking to like a very pretty girl and, and she'll be really nice to me and then like off the cuff she'll just be super fucking mean to a waitress or a bartender or, or whomever. Like super fucking rude, like, how do you want some more water? Did I fucking ask for water? Did I? Did I? Did I? No. So anyway, it's just like, what, what the, what? What the fuck just happened? A, why would I want to be around someone that mean? And B, either you're being fake to me or you're being fake to her. And either way, you're kind of being a dick. Truck just drove by my house carrying Horses, it looks like. You know, it's like, be nice and be real. I've said that before, but but it stands 100%. Because if you're a jerk, or if you're fake, that's just like a, it's a fucking red siren. And I'm out. You know what? Shark Tank, I'm out. And the third thing, uh, and this isn't a proactive list, this is a gun, forget it. And the third thing, and this is sort of more something that, that I do, I can tangibly say that I find attractive, is when someone's passionate about something or excited or talented. And just because someone's passion doesn't mean they're talented, but a lot of times I go hand in hand. Because when someone's excited about something and they're doing something, then you can't help but get excited about that. And it's cool. It's cooler than just like sitting at home all day playing video games in your underwear and eating, eating goldfish. I feel like this is a goldfish ad. Yo goldfish, send me some fucking goldfish. I'm hungry. And I don't even need to be into the same thing. Like it's just the fact that they found something they're excited about and they're getting off their ass. I can't even tell you how many times I've been to a concert and I've seen someone like playing the piano and, and you know, for, for the life of me, I don't know why, but I, I have the bonerest boner in, in, in all, of all boners. And I just sit in the front row and I'm like, mm, I wanna tickle your ivories. Need me to hit that B flat, C major. I bet you're a C major. <clears throat> uh, that line doesn't work, by the way, FYI. Live and learn, right? Frankly, if all else fails and you really can't find a date at all, there's only one thing you can really do. Grow a giant beard. True story. But anyway, I don't know. I'm curious. Let me know what you guys find attractive in another person. Yeah, I actually, I am very curious. Let me know. Today's my sister's birthday. So, happy birthday, Trickster. I love you. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max No Sleeves, and I'll see you next Tuesday.